To see her today, smiling and energetic, you'd never imagine this is the same girl clinging to life in her hospital room. Doctors diagnosed Talia Castellano with a rare form of childhood cancer when she was just seven years old. Talia said, for many months, why me? You know, why did I get it? Why didn't you get it? Why didn't Larry get it, her stepdad? Why didn't my sister get it? Why me? And how do you tell, tell a child? I don't know. Talia put up a brave front, fighting the disease not once, but twice, relying on blood and platelets from donors to get her through. Without the ability to replace blood cells which are lost during treatment, um, patients could not survive, or they would not be able to get such intense therapies which have allowed cure rates to, to go up so high in pediatric cancers. Do you think the people that donated blood and platelets to you are angels? Definitely. Those angels revealed themselves during the 2010 multi-gallon donor luncheon. You've motivated, inspired people to give that never gave blood before. Would you like to meet the donors here in this room who, who helped save your life? Could, could Talia's donors here in the room please come up on stage? Wearing buttons that say Talia's hero, her donors come face to face with the life they saved. It was putting a face on many long hours of donating and seeing the results and seeing that a gift that can't be bought is probably the most rewarding of all. What was it like being able to meet Talia? It was really honor, a great honor. I mean, you, you know, to put a face to a donation that uh, I've been donating for over 35 years. Surrounded by her guardian angels, the usually bubbly little girl found herself utterly speechless. How does this feel having all these people up here? Uh, <laughs> You're speechless. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the experience is just as emotional for the donors. What was it like being able to meet Talia? fantastic. I've always known that being an O negative donor was important to the community, but getting to actually meet a little girl whose life depended on getting donations made a huge difference. Was anything going to stop you from meeting Talia today? No, it was not. I told him I would have to come in crutches or wheelchair to get down here to see the young lady I saved. Draped around Talia's neck is a basketball medal given to her by Deborah Harper. She lost her own daughter in an accident four years ago. I had told her that the team fought really hard to win those, and that I thought she fought even harder than they did. So, and she put it right on, which was just um, a little emotional for me. It's easier being able to meet you. It makes it easier for me to go in every week, okay? I don't know how words to describe the emotion to see her, because when I donate blood, you know, I don't think in the people who I donate, and now that I see a face, it brings me more motivation to donate blood. That motivation to donate gives little girls like Talia the strength to keep fighting. And I'm just grateful to have her still in my life. And without these people, she wouldn't be alive. I mean, wow, you gave me my life. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.